What's going on guys? Welcome to Trade Confident. Thank you so much for wishing me a great time in Pismo Beach with my wife for our baby moon. Guys, we had a blast. Like we had a lot of fun. I don't know if you guys have been to Pismo Beach, but we went to this place called, real quick, um, Shell Beach like the most beautiful small little patches of grass on this little um you know playground area for kids that overlooks the ocean it was incredible all right so i just had to uh, update you guys on that it was just really fun so thank you guys all for those wishes you guys are absolutely amazing all right so let's get into ethereum i'm on the daily chart for a reason here because i want to show you guys something um we could be seeing a 25 percent drop in ethereum i'm not just pulling that out of thin air i'm going to show this to you guys we're going to look at the wells and the institutional trades today the support and resistance for the big boys the long trade risk the death cross the emotional index the long versus the short trade something very interesting happened over the last three days that you guys got to be looking at. So let's go over Ethereum real quick. Um, let's go over the balance, actually. The account was down $1,300 as of Thursday, and it, we were creeping up there a little bit on Friday. But I'm currently down, you know, about 100 and let's call it $60 in here. So hopefully all of you guys, you know, who are following this, you know, you are holding and you're doing really well. You know, not financial advice, entertainment purposes only. But uh, we're not looking too bad in here, okay? So let's start on the daily for this reason. I'm actually going to start at the end this time. Um, so let's come over here and let's look at the um, well trades right now. This has been very interesting on the chart here because over the last three days, we saw something happen. On Friday, I mentioned this, that we might see a move down and we might see more accumulation of long trades for the institutions and the wells and shoot the price up. And that's exactly what happened here, okay? So we saw this great dip in the market. We saw all of, you know, if you guys are in here and you're like, oh my gosh, we're going down, I'm getting scared, I'm getting scared, and you're selling, all I gotta say is you're not trading with the wells and the institutions, okay? The big boys are what's gonna move this market. If you guys wanna trade with them, it is very smart to get on the right side and just watch what they're doing right here, okay? While the price is going down, they are buying an incredible amount of long trades and they are buying your guys' fear like crazy and driving this price back up. What we saw over this weekend here was a move up here and then a fast drop down, which perfectly correlated, if you guys were watching this, to the long versus the short trade and you would have seen that, all right? It uh, correlated to about a 16% drop in Bitcoin um, just with a simple drop here. Let's go to current date, all right? Today is uh, Tuesday, June uh, 29th. What are we seeing? We are seeing the short trades drastically increase here. So we saw, okay, a lot of buying, a lot of buying, a lot of buying. They drove the price up, drove the price up, and now we're seeing short trades take over. The last time we ended up seeing this, we saw a 25% drop in Bitcoin, now follow me here. Look at this structure. So we see a big move down. We see the first move up, second move up. All right, check this out. So for Bitcoin, we're going to move over to the daily. We saw a nice move down. We saw structure up and we saw structure up. This move right here, last time we saw this equivalent amount of shorting trades in the market, we saw this amount of drop. It was a total from the top of the close here on the green candle to the bottom wick here at the bottom before we started heading back up was a total of 21.11%. Okay, follow me here, 21% on there. Ethereum though, that was on the 21st. The 21st, for, for, <laughs> the 21st correlates over here to this red candle drop. So on Ethereum, if we take the candle wick high and we go all the way to the low, this correlates down here to a 25.06% drop. So I'm not just, you know, this is not clickbait or anything like that. We're using real historical evidence and data to prove this. So could we see a 25% drop in the market coming over the next few days? Yes, it is possible if we simply look at what's happened in the past. But let's take a look at a few other things that might be affecting this. If we come up here and we'll, let's go from the right to the left today. So the support um, and resistance in the hidden money. So where is all the hidden money that we're not really seeing unless you're looking at this chart? Well, 36,000 for Bitcoin was a great area where I was expecting to see a lot of resistance. Well, this has actually moved up here to 37,000. So if Bitcoin can break above 37,000 and then definitely if we break above 40,000 with a psychological level as well as the structure high here, guys, it's a really, really good look up here to about 50,000. There's nothing standing in our way. Bunch of low volume nodes here, which is basically low volume trades at certain prices where the price can just skyrocket, okay? Very good news if we can pa uh, break past 40,000. Let's go over here to the long versus short trade risk. Are you looking to take trades today? If so, you know, this is what I would recommend. If my mom came to me and was like, Travis, you know, are you taking long or short trades? Guys, here's the honest truth. I wouldn't be taking long or short trades at all. We're already in a trade and we're managing that and we're doing, you know, we're doing good. We're heading into the positive. But today is very indecisive. I would not personally, non-financial advice, 
I wouldn't be taking any trades today. A lot of in this pressure in the market is like, okay, we're heading up, we're heading up, we're heading up. The trend dashboard is showing all green. A lot of retailers are, tra traders are getting excited here because they see all the momentum pushing up and they want to get on this rocket ship. It's going up, it's going up, it's going up, all right? You know, don't jump on a rocket ship that's going to the moon. That's not, you know, the greatest idea. Don't grab a falling knife as you're, you know, dropping on the way down. Those are analogies we use in the trading community here. So let's take a look at the death cross real quick. And I want to show you guys a long versus short trades because that's very interesting what's going on. Death cross is still active. So I just want to let you guys know that all the big CNN, you know, Fox News, all those guys, we're still in a death cross. Well, they actually are correct. We are still in a death cross for the overall market of crypto. If we're looking at Bitcoin as the rising tide to move Ethereum and all these other altcoins up and down. Emotional index is quite neutral right now. You know, it makes perfect sense. If you guys are following the emotions when you're very anxious and you're very fearful, what's happening? You're anxious and you're fearful and the whales are coming in. They're easing you guys out of your positions and they are buying you like crazy in here and they're driving the price back up. Like, I know Warren Buffett said buy low, sell high, and you guys are like, yeah, that's what I do. But I'm proving to a lot of you guys in here, and, and this isn't, and this is just to open your eyes, not to be rude or anything like that. But a lot of you guys, you know, out there, maybe not you specifically watching, you're not following that advice. You guys are getting scared and you're selling. I can prove that to you because the price is going down a lot. Yes, there's a lot of shorting power in the market. I totally understand that. But there's a lot of people in here that are getting anxious and you guys are selling out and you're helping that. Because if all of us retail traders didn't sell at all and we just we just held, I don't think we would see these big of drops, personally. I, I don't... I don't think we would, okay? So if, and if we all came in here, we bought this and we bought this and bought this, like all the big you know, institutions and whales, I don't think our lows would be as low. We'd probably actually push the price up a lot faster, a lot sooner if we were all just following the institutional well money where they're buying all of the fear and everyone else is selling. All right, so let's go over to long and the short trades and, and we're gonna wrap this video up after this. This was very interesting. Over the weekend, we saw this big influx of short trades. I think this was in here to possibly visually scare some traders. All right. Sometimes I've seen this happen on the books where a lot of whales will put their orders in as limit orders and they, they won't be market orders. So they won't execute immediately, but they'll show a lot of selling pressure in order to scare retail traders. Now we can caveat this by looking at multiple metrics and looking at the well trades and also the well and sport resistance. But that's something that sometimes happens here on the charts. Overall, for a move up, this is actually looking quite bullish. We see a continuation of long trades increasing in the market, almost hitting an all-time high here, but the short trades are still very low. So if I were to make any call here, it's going to be to follow this these well trades right here. If over the next few days, we can get these um, long and short trades here, if the short trades increase, getting us back to where we were, you know, if we even get like halfway up to where we were before, it'll be it'll be more of a conviction to me that we're gonna crash even stronger. And that 25% move down is a lot more possible. Sorry, we're loading here and we're almost ready. But let me sh let's go back over here and we'll finish on this chart. So a 25% move down for Ethereum here. Let's just get some numbers in here. It probably puts us puts us really cl close to structure low. That would be around um, 1,600. Now, although we I'm pulling 25% because that's what we saw last time. I personally don't think we're going to head down below the structure low here for another move up. So a low, a high, a higher low, and a higher high. 25% is what it shows us, but I think it could see around a 2,000 mark. So around $2,000 is where I'm expecting, but 25% is definitely possible from what we've seen. And then a move back up. $2,000 move on Ethereum is very healthy for this to get a higher low to push to another higher high. Now, the trend dashboard the price versus the well money flow and trend exhaustion, guys, these indicators are actually going up in price July 1st. So literally just like, was it three days left? So if you want these on your chart, like literally for like stupid, ridiculous discounts, like this is what you guys need to get on your chart. Really quickly, the price versus the well money flow, we're at the top. The whales are looking to take profit. I would not doubt here for the next two to three days, we might see a little fake out move up, but then a move back down is what I'm expecting. If we see the green starting to move down, which is the well money flow, as well as price structure, that's positively correlated. Big drops in the market is what I'm expecting. The trend exhaustion has been deadly accurate time after time. When we get up into this red area, we get massive drops in the market. Watch up here, the little hairs. Right here, massive drops. We see here more drops. We see more drops. We see more drops. Like literally every time we've seen ourselves up here, the last five, six times, we've seen big drops. Well, guess what we're at here? We're up here and we're actually starting to move down while price is overextending itself. So this is another reason why I do think Ethereum and the crypto market as a whole could be looking to see a big drop down, possibly 25%.
So um, the website's up. Enjoy. Watch the market metrics every morning. I'll see you guys in the next video. God bless you guys. And wait for the next two videos I'm about to come out with today. Dogecoin, we're going to be covering. All right. Bye-bye, guys. Thank you.